Toasty day. Check it out. Let's check it out. Yeah. Anything else to get the mizzen ready? Just oil the leather. Just oil the leather. Then she's ready to go up. It is Saturday today, so soonest will be Monday. Be sweet. <laughs> You're coming too. From Washington State to now sunny California. We've been at it for five years. It began with selling our previous boat and taking that money to buy tools and build a shed. We assembled keel pieces, poured the ballast, and raised all 16 frames in the first six months. There's a boat in there. Now, half a decade later, and at a slower but steady pace, we're in the water. We're salt and tar, and this is our life. Like, subscribe, and support if you can. So Garrett's got his little messy corner over here, working on the lower dead eye strops for the mizzen mast. I've got some dishes to clean, as well as I'm gonna make some juice. It's about this time of year, like middle of summer, <laughs> we start getting like refocused on being healthy and uh, I don't know, long days, the sun stays out till like nine o'clock. So we've got long work days and gotta sustain ourselves. Find your knife. Yeah. Life on a boat means your quarter bunk becomes the rigging shop and a mere three feet away, the kitchen. The yard is closed on the weekends, so it's a relaxing Saturday, balancing house chores and boat projects. Pretty typical day for us. faucet we have installed is our filtered drinking tap, so I still do the bulk of our washing at the hose to save filters. I hear some commotion on deck and I think that Reed and Garrett have gotten back with the extra spar that we got when we got the mizzen and Garrett wants to try and use it in conjunction with our main mast and hoist the mizzen up ourselves so I think that might happen later today or maybe on the other side of the main match that's probably smarter yeah that's a lot smarter. What are you doing? Um, we're gonna 
turn the main mast into a boom crane, lash this thing up to it, hoist it up like a giant gaff, and then run block and tackle, and lift the mizzen mast up and set it down. <laughs> you know, the usual. Yep. <laughs> Instead of paying the yard to step our mizzen, we're sticking to our roots and doing it backyard boat building style and hoisting it ourselves. Everything's ready, including the mast wedges. A little ingenuity and resourcefulness, and this gaff rig catch will have both her spars. Doing, monkey. Oh, now you're out. I'm out now. We just <laughs> ended. Just like, bro, bro, bro. Oh, you you were calling me? Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. I'm so deaf. How the hell does she not hear me right now? giant gap then we just need like two guy lines on the end of this just to keep it secure Thank you. 
everything pretty set up to at least get the lifting spar or at least run it up once and make sure it all goes correctly and then maybe shoot for hoisting in the morning or something or okay cool um do you think you have one more long line okay sweet uh just it doesn't have to be crazy long just enough for like a single a single line going up the height of the mizzen probably like i don't know 30 feet uh, doubled so 60 feet would probably work. Yeah, that should be fine. Sweet. Thank you. All right, bye. If it seems at all sketchy, we can always go anchor too. You know, just take yeah, the boat do our, right out there. In the do morning. our dry run first and yeah. see if it's kind of wobbly. A little bit of a breeze. It's been windy for weeks and waiting for perfect conditions seems futile. So you feeling trial run, full yeah. raise in the morning? Yeah, just gonna lift the whole contraption up just to make sure everything flows and then shoot for maybe in the morning. Who needs extra line? Mm -hmm. Got some. Sweet. Got some. <laughs> High squad. Hell yeah. Better than Uber Eats? Yeah. I forgot where I put seven. her leash. Uh, it's over here on the floor. No, it's right here. Oh, I found it. Uh, it was right here and Garrett uh, <laughs> That'll found do. use for it. <laughs> That'll do. Well, uh... Ellie, be tame. Well, should we do a quick dry run just while we still got some light? Yeah, do you want to uh, get this thingy on there? Use the weather. The um, extra line you want it? Uh, I'll put it on because I don't. we don't actually need it to do a dry run, um, but I'll need it for the actual hoist. These are the guy lines. And run it through there and there. So I'll have you on the guy lines okay. as it goes up just sure. to keep her steady Ruth you'll be on the throat halyard okay and I'm gonna be on fore and aft peak and I'll just marry those bring them up together okay Ruth this is you alright go with Man, <laughs> rigging shit's fun. <laughs> right, I'll just make this off. Okay. Yeah, uh, in the future, uh, your next time, it's got a couple blocks here just so it uh, doesn't bind up, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I think the uh, yeah, it's just a little too tight. The trial run is important. <laughs> Absolutely. I think I'm gonna move some of those peak halyards. Those two are at such a low angle. I'll probably move the middle one a little bit further back at least.
So this right now, this is worth it. It's just, it's just most, most of the strain is straight on the lines. We're just pushing into the mass. We should always swab up. <laughs> That's a good trial run. Swab, you want to go for a sky trip? Swab, you want to go fly? I think the mizzen mast, call it whiz, about the same or less than I do. I am your safety. It feels fine with me on it. I mean, just a little bouncy, but. Yeah, dude, this is great. Yeah, I think we'll just modify those peaks a little bit. Good rigging, brother. <laughs> Good rigging. Hoist away. I need 26 feet. All looks good. Now to take it down and eat some dinner. Yeah, you're kind of friction lock. Or so we thought. Harder. When in doubt, use your flip flop. plan was to put the same double block purchase as on the throat back here but I didn't have a double block up there I thought I did and I'm like oh I'll just put three singles but that is a bitch oh. so I'll rig a double block on this one too okay well draw some diagrams when we eat dinner we ate dinner over at Reed's and drew out our improvements more purchase higher peak and a retrieval line. Up next, so we're gonna go anchor the boat. Get on the helm, you on the skip. We take Red Aviva out of her slip. I'm flying high, anchor in the river. I'm falling, falling for nobody else but you. And raise the mizzen. And I've got a feeling I'm falling. Show me the ring and I'll jump right through. I'm flying high, but I've got a feeling I'm falling, falling for nobody else.